man, what should I do for my channel? I'm not sure. I can't really do anything right now because it's been like raining outside. Like I'll show you guys, but look at that. It just like rained outside and now it's like all wet. If only there wasn't just ironically just six plushies for me to review. Hey guys, Super Crippling Studios here. Sorry for that scream earlier, I bet that hurt your ears. I know in the intro where I showed outside, it didn't really look like there was rain outside, but trust me. Earlier today it was raining, and I didn't want to take my plushies outside. Then I was like, what should I do? Then? And then I remembered, I got like some new plushies about a month ago. And I remember when I made that community post about me getting that junior and that peach over there. This guy right here, he told me to do a review, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've made an episode of plush review since February. So, to the people who like that series, I'm sorry for that, but at least I'm doing a 6-in-1. Let's get this review started, yeah! Let's start off with Ludwig. What I am holding right now is the All-Stars Ludwig plush. We got this guy in like June of last year, June 2022, for around 25 bucks. Yeah, this guy holds some history because he was in the second ever video of the old run of Super Cooking Studios. And he's been with us for almost a year. I don't know if you all know this, but he was one of the main characters in Koopling vs Mario Bros. the finale. And I highly recommend you guys watch that video because I have worked my soul into that. It only got like 10 views, so please watch that video. Please. Please. These are the materials used on the, on the plushie. So the hair on Ludwig uses a really soft material. The same material used on Ludwig's hair is used on his wristbands, his toes, and the outer part of his shell. The green part of Ludwig's head, as you can see here, uses a less softer material than this that Sine uses on a lot of their Mario plushies. The same material is used on this part of his face, the yellow all around his body. The same material is also used on his stomach and the bottom of his shoe. Also, the back of his shell. Embroidery is used on the eyes and eyebrows of Ludwig, his nostrils, the white part of his wristbands, and the bottom of his foot. There is white felt used on his tooth, synthetic material on the blue part of his wand, and hard felt used on the wand and the spikes of the shell. To be honest, this is actually a pretty good Ludwig plush. If you compare Ludwig to the artwork on his tag, he is a pretty accurate depiction of the character. Only problems I have with this guy is this loose string, like oh my god, what the hell? He uses felt, which I don't really like. And I guess the spikes are kinda uneven, but that's just nitpicking at this point. Overall rating on this guy, 9 out of 10. Now moving on to Roy. Alright, next up we got the Sine All-Stars Roy Koopa plush. I'm pretty sure we got this guy in like late June after me and Josh had a sleepover. And the price was actually the same as Ludwig, he was also 25 bucks. So since we got him in June, he has also been with us for a year. And this guy also holds quite a bit of history. He appeared in the third ever video of the original run of Super Crippling Studios. That was already a year ago. Oh my god, I'm just now thinking about that. He also appeared in the finale of Koopling vs Mario Bros, which again, watch that video or else I'll put a pipe bomb in your mailbox. Pretty sure I already made a community post on this, but these are actually not my plushies, these are Josh's plushies. The reason I have them right now is because he's actually on vacation and he wants me to take care of these while he's gone. Anyways, let's review this guy. So the top of his head uses a really soft material. That same material is used on the back of his shell and the white outline of his shell. The same material is also used on the wristbands and the toes. Hard felt is used on the shades of Roy and also his wand. Felt is used on his two teeth. His mouthpiece is the soft material that Sine is known for. That same material is used on the stomach and the yellow surrounding his body. This is another great plush by Sine. We're also pretty grateful that we got one that has good quality control. And we're also grateful that Kooplings don't have a lot of quality control issues. Unlike freaking Mario. <laughs> If you look at the artwork on this tag, this plush looks so accurate compared to this tag. The only problem I have with this guy is that he uses felt on his teeth, which can attract dust, so that's why I don't like felt. But overall, I don't really have any problems with this plush, and my overall rating for this guy is also a 9 out of 10. Now moving on to Junior. 
Why are you staring at the camera like that, bro? You're scaring me. You're scaring me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> All right, so now we got the Sine All-Stars Bowser Jr. plush. Hold on. How's there a second version of me? No, how is there another version of me? Not you, you're the other version of me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? I'm the OG junior, bro. Man, shut up. Your face look like if a dog got stung by a bee. My dog stepped on a bee. Man, shut your ass, bro. You look like Barney on anabolic steroids. Damn. Hey, you wanna go, bro? Matter of fact, I do. Let's go. And what is you talking about? I'm the OG junior, so that makes me better than you. Now, what are you talking about? I have the better face, and I'm newer. I'm better conditioned. Your tag is crusty. <laughs> hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Sorry about that, guys. So, like I was saying, this is the Sine All Stars Bowser Jr. plush. We got this junior. I actually don't remember when, but I'm pretty sure it was like a few months back, maybe like six, seven months back. We got him from Amazon for actually only $17. So, basically, at that time period, we were checking Amazon for the Mario plushies, and we saw that Junior, he was $17, and usually he goes for $30, man. Like, that's so expensive. But when we saw we that he was $17, we were like, we had to get him. Because that was the cheapest we ever saw him go. So, Joshua got him, and yeah, now he's here. As for this junior, I actually got him at a mall at a place called Character World. The thing that sucks is that this guy was like 25 bucks. Like, bro. Some of you guys me might be like, oh, you're wasting our time, bro. It's the same plush, bro. It's the, it's the exact same plush. What's the point of reviewing the book? Well, the one thing different is that this tag... I don't know if you can help, but it has Japanese characters in it. Oh my but God. this time, the there's no Japanese can? letters and it's in English. I don't really know why they do that. I'm still trying to figure that out. If anyone knows in the comments, like, why some have a Japanese tag and some have an English tag, let me know in the comments. I know y'all are probably tired of hearing this, but he was also in Koopling vs. Oh Mario Bros. Finale. Oh, and if you just watched that video, I worked my soul off of that. And then, with all that out the way, let's review Bowser Jr.'s materials. Well, the materials used on Bowser Jr.'s hair and eyebrows are made of a rougher material that's a bit rougher than the standard Sine material. The material on Bowser Jr.'s head is actually like really soft. One thing I noticed about this is that the softer material here is a bit shorter, and this one is a bit longer. The mouth on Bowser Jr. uses the standard Sine soft material. This material can be seen on the bib, the yellow surrounding Bowser Jr and the green on Bowser Jr.'s shell. The wristbands on Bowser Jr. and his ponytail tie thing. It uses like a softer felt material. Embroidery is used on the eyes, the nostrils, and the design on the boot. Synthetic material is used on the horns and the spikes of Jr.'s shell. One detail that I like that they did on the Jr. plush was that when you lift up the bib, you can actually see his stomach and so they actually put details on there. From what I've seen, this is probably the most accurate Jr. plush. Twitter moment, hot take, hot take, don't cancel me, please. The All-Star Junior is better than 2009 Junior. There, I said it. Oh my god, oh my god, he just said it. I wonder what's gonna happen to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. 2009 Junior is better, I'm sorry, that's what the Sorry to the SMO fans that I treated. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a good Junior plus, but the problem is the quality control on this guy, especially with the face, bro. Like, what is this? Like, at first, I didn't mind his face. I was like, oh, he looks a little ugly. That's really the only problem I had with him. But when I got this guy, he looks so much uglier compared to him. Like, this man looks like he got stung by a bee. Another quality control issue I have is around, like, a few days ago, I noticed that it was actually a dark thing. And his tie, the way... I don't think it's supposed to do that, because when you look here, the tie thing around junior's hair like it doesn't move around another quality control issue that there is is that the hands on this junior look fine but the hands on this one like i don't know what happened this makes the rating an 8.5 out of 10 so now please improve your quality control now I'm moving on to my dad bowser dude can you stop copying me no you're the one who copied That's right, guys. Up next, we have the Sine All-Stars Bowser push. 
Now, before I say anything, this is one of the best made Bowser plushies out there. Like, look at Bowser's face. If you compare him to, like, the Sine 2011 Bowser plush, that one looks so bad, but this one, they improved so much. Okay, so where we got this guy, we got him off of Target for, like, 35 bucks. Let's go over Bowser's material. So the hair on Bowser and his eyebrows use that slightly less soft person than the material that's going to the quality. The green part of Bowser's head uses a really soft material, which I think Sine uses on Bowser and Bowser Jr.'s head only. But his eyes use embroidery and subjective material. So does the spots on Bowser's wristband, the necklace, the horns on Bowser, and the spikes of Bowser's shell also use synthetic material. The two spikes on Bowser's tail also use synthetic material. Also his mouth, a lot of it uses synthetic material actually. His teeth are made out of felt, so are his nails. The black part of Bowser's wristband and his choker necklace thing is made of lightly softer felt material and finally it uses the Sine soft material on his mouth area his nose stomach the yellow all around Bowser's body and the outer part of Bowser's shell that's pretty much it on the materials on this guy now we're gonna move on to my opinion this plush again is really accurate and one of the best Bowser plushies out there but it does have some minor issues I'm not sure if it's like this for all Bowser plushies but for Josh's his nose part it uses like a different color than what it's actually supposed to be I don't know why they did that maybe it's just for this release let me know in the comments another issue that I have with this Bowser plush is that when you look at him like this his nose covers his eye which make him look possessed I don't know if it's like that on all Bowser plushies or if it's just on mine but Tanae, please fix this issue. Another thing for me is that Bowser's head is kind of big compared to his legs, which are pretty small. I mean, in the tag scene here, you can see Bowser has like longer legs and a smaller head. But well, on the pussy, it's not really like that. I feel like I'm just nitpicking at this point, but overall, this is actually a really good Bowser push. One of the best out there. If you have the money, then I guess get him. Overall rating, 9.5 out of 10. Now on to my baby piece. No, now that I mentioned Peach, I should probably sing my song. Peaches, 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 peaches. Shut your ass up, bro. You're gonna get me copyrighted again. Now we're on to our final plush, which is the Sine All-Stars Princess Peach plush. This peach, I actually got her the same day as this Bowser Jr. plush at Character World. I got this plush for actually around $22, which is pretty cheap compared to Amazon, which is like... $30 for a plush, like why? Anyways, let's go through the materials of Peach. Majority of the Princess Peach plush uses the same Sine soft material. That material is used on the hair, Peach's skin, the light pink part of Peach's dress right here. Felt is used on Peach's earrings and the center part of Peach's dress. Embroidery is used for facial features and her fingers. And finally, for Peach's crown, it uses a hard felt material with ironed on details. Now onto my opinion for this Peach plush. This Peach Plus is good, but it's not the most accurate one out there. If you compare Peach to the artwork on her tag, you can see that on her gloves, it has that point. But on this plush, it doesn't have that point. You can also see on the tag that on Peach's collar, the semicircles are pointing upwards. But on this plush, it's pointing downwards for some reason. Also, the hair is supposed to be... I don't know how to describe it, but the hair is supposed to look different. It's supposed to look more pointy. And also, the height of this plush is kind of bothering me. We all know in the games that Mario is significantly shorter than Peach, hence the reason why she bends down to kiss Mario every time Mario saves her. But in plush form, Mario is the same height as Peach. My biggest problem with this plush is that it's not tall enough. This gives Peach a low overall rating of, Jumbo, please. 7.5 out of 10. This plush could have been better, but there were so many inaccuracies. With that being said, that is it for today's review. Thank you guys for watching this review. Comment down which one your favorite one is, and I'll see you guys in the next plush video. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to end this video off just yet. This next video is going to be about the Kooplings. This next video is going to be called How to Get Kooplings for Cheap. Let's go. So let's say y'all hop on Amazon one day. Y'all type in Kooplings plush. You look at Lemmy and he's 25 bucks, which is relatively cheap. You see Wendy for also around the same price. Then you look at Larry and you also see that he's also 24 bucks, which is around how much they should go for. But then you see Lucky, then you see Amy, then you see Morton, and you're like, 50 bucks? That's way too expensive. What the hell? At this point, y'all are like, 
I don't want to pay $50 for a plush, but I also don't want to get the shitty bootleg. So what do I do? Well, I'm glad you asked. You then go to eBay, type in Koopalings plush lot. Then you click this listing. You see that? $200. You might be like, $200 for plushies? That's kind of expensive. Trust me, it's a better deal than paying $50 for each Koopaling. According to my scientific calculations, you divide $200 to 7 Koopalings, you'll pay around $30 for each Koopaling. Which I don't know about you, but that's better than paying $50 for one Koopaling. If y'all have enough money, then I suggest you do this before the Koopalings become rare. But if you don't want to spend $200 for just plushies, then I suggest you guys wait. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next plush video.